right, Alyssa, uh, you know, I'm going to get a little older now, a little wiser. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I know one thing. I'm giving some relationship advice. Okay. Things when it comes to relationship, you must be patient. You must yeah. be selfless. You must be supportive. No one knows that better than a coach's wife. Absolutely. It's a different ball game when you're married to a coach, especially at this level. And so when you saw Sam Pittman overwhelmed with emotion after a big time win last week, mm -hmm. he brought one name to mind when he, people asked yeah. who the MVP was. He said, there's one MVP. And she had her special name named Jamie, my wife. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we have a lot of special first wives here mm -hmm. on campus with the coaches' wives, but it's something different. Yeah. It, it's a profession all on its own. So I had the privilege to sit down with the real MVP, the first wife of football for Arkansas, Jamie Pittman. I'm just a plain Jamie Pittman before I was a head coach's wife. Loves to shop at Home Goods. Just love people. Jamie Pittman is back home in Fayetteville after being gone for three years when Sam took the job at Georgia. My parents live outside of Joplin in Pittsburgh, Kansas. All of our families here. So many friends here. Um, I was so upset when we did leave the first time and just God has a plan. He brought us back home and I just couldn't be happier. Now a head coach's wife. She's a big part of the Arkansas football program. She says she's busy, but a good busy. I remember being an assistant wife and I would be friends with the head coach's wife and they're like, I have to be on all the time. And I'm like, what does she mean by that? But I never know when Sam's going to call and say, I need you to do an interview. I need you to be up here to meet a parent. I need you to do this, do that or whatever. So I really do have to be on because you never know what you're going to be asked to do. One of the things she does often is meet recruits and their parents. I love meeting the parents. Um, I've met some of the parents already with recruiting and can tell that we're going to be good friends when they get here and the moms want to know where I sit and I want to know where they're going to be setting and you build relationships that way too with some of the kids as parents. And like most coaches wives, making sure things are taken care of at home is also part of the job. We've been married 35 years this last August so I'm pretty used to it. I take the trash to the curb um, <laughs> and sometimes you like them neighbors are looking at you like that poor woman she has to do everything but we're used to it and I'm sure all the other assistants wives have to do the same thing except for one thing Sam has always paid the bills at our house mm -hmm. he's kind of in control of the finances the bills and all that and he still likes to do it I've offered to take over and he's like gosh no we would be in trouble <laughs> There's a saying, behind every strong man is a stronger woman. And that saying rings true for the Pittmans. We're very close. We never had kids. Football is our kids, the players. Um, and he really does respect me, and I respect him. And I think we've always put each other first, always been best friends, because we've always lived away from family and didn't have kids. So that's never changed. I asked Jamie what Sam would say if I asked him what she meant to him and his success. The answer? He has such a big heart, and I think everybody knows that. Um, we were with some friends this summer on a trip in the Bahamas, and we were talking about when he got the head job and how excited we all were and how he was emotional, blah, blah, blah. And I looked at him and I said, I'm sure it was because you wanted to make your parents so happy. And he lost his parent. He lost his dad like two months after he got the job. His mom had passed away a year or so ago. And he looked at me and he said, no, I did it for you because I want to make you so proud and so happy. Oh, my gosh. So that was just for him to say that to me. Um, everybody at our table was crying after that. Yeah, the two, their bond is something yep. special. And, you know, she said that in that big stadium full of fans, Sam knows that Jamie is back there. And she's like, I kind of gave my secret away, but he'll give me a little, like, handshake behind his I, back or uh -huh. just a little cue to me to know that, that he knows that I'm there and I know that he's there. And um, just a special bond. The yeah, two the special have. bond. One of the cool things I heard her say, we're best friends. Yeah. You know, and that's something special. I can it's attest. important. It's very important. Yeah, and it's aspiring awesome. as well. All right, we're about to go to break. When we come back, everybody go to your